Thank you, Luke. And welcome to Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska. You can follow along with us if um, in, the, in the sanctuary here, there are programs in the back. And um, if you're online, there is, uh, you can go to trinityjuno.org. Um, if you go to that site, over on the right-hand side, you'll see Noonday. Click that and uh, then scroll almost uh, down to the very bottom and you will find the Feast of St. Barnabas on Saturday, June 11th. So on this, a sunny day in Juneau, um, I'm from Fairbanks where every day is a sunny day, but in Juneau we celebrate a day like this. So celebrating the Feast of, the, of St. Barnabas the Apostle. We gather in the name of God, creating, redeeming, giving us life. God of justice, God of peace, in the heat of the day, we take refuge in you. Glory to you, Father. Glory, Glory to you. Glory to you, Savior. Glory to you. Glory to you, Spirit. Glory to you. Now we have a reading from Acts. Um, and listen for the, for the name of Barnabas to this. Now, those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men from Cyprus and Cyrene who, on coming to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, also proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced. He exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, and full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they associated with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. At that time, the prophet came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood and predicted by the Spirit that there would be a severe famine over all the world, and this took place during the reign of Claudius. The disciples determined that according to their ability, each would send relief to the believers living in, Ju in Judah. This they did, sending it to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of, of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod, the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called for them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. Here ends the lesson. Now we have Psalm 112, and if you will chant this with me. Hallelujah, happy are those who fear the Lord, and have great delight His commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land, the generations of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house, and their righteousness will last forever. Light shines in the darkness of the upright, and the righteous are merciful and full of compassion. It is good for them to be generous in lending, and to manage their affairs with justice. For they will never be shaken, their righteousness will be kept in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil rumors. Their heart is right. They 
put their trust in the Lord. Their heart is established and will not shrink until they see their desire upon their enemies. They have given freely to the poor, and their righteousness stands fast forever. They will hold up their hands with honor. The wicked will see it and be angry. They will gnash their teeth and pine away. The desires of the wicked will perish. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We weave this day. Silence of knowing, clearness of seeing, grace of speaking. We weave this day, humility of listening, depth of understanding, joy of serving. We weave this day, peace of being, gift of loving, power of meaning. This is a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for your journey or two tunics, or sandals, or a staff. For laborers deserve their food. Whenever a town you enter, whatever town you in, or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy, and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave the house or town. Truly I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves, so be wise like serpents and innocent as doves. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessing to the Diocese of Alaska. I invite everyone to pray this if you have the words in front of you. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders, through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessing to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do, compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith, compassion for others as members of our own family and God, 
Let us become examples, brothers, as so many others have been examples to us. Through your love and for the sake of your glory. And watch over the elders and brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Almighty God, who sittest at the throne judging right, we humbly beseech thee to bless the courts of justice and the magistrates in all this land and to give to them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, that they may discern the truth and impartially administer law in the fear of thee alone, through him who shall come to be our judge, thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the time that we have inter any intercessions that you may have, any prayers that you may have. We'll take a moment. Um, spoken aloud or or silently. We pray for Marilyn and the Andrews family. As well. And for Sheila. And for the loss in her family, her sister in law. We have marriages uh, in our in our group of faithful people um, that we have had and soon will have, and we give our blessing to those brides and grooms and to the, their families, and we invite this congregation to support them in their marriages. We give thanks for the celebration of ten thousand years of culture in this place. For the people of the land, we pray for peace, that we may learn from their generosity and, and to reciprocate to our own. The words of the people of the lower. Canon River, we say, Anabase. We say, Amen. Amen. Anabase. And lastly, we'll have a prayer to St. Barnabas the Apostle, who was, who we've already heard of in the lesson, um, who gave to the, to the people in famine, who supported the church in, in its very earliest days. Um, he must have been a, quite a fellow because in one village in, in, in Greece, he was mistaken for, for Jupiter, the, the chief god. Oh, god yeah. So that... Paul yeah. was only his messenger. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul was just mistaken for Mercury, the, the messenger of the gods. Yes. But today I'm wondering, there, in England there is a thistle called the St. Barnabas Thistle. So um, I always think of thistles as thorny things. But I guess every all of us have different aspects to our lives, and so did Barnabas. Yeah, well, he might have had a spiky beard. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so for St. Barnabas the Apostle, grant, O God, that we may follow the example of your faithful servant Barnabas, who, seeking not his own renown, but the well-being of your church gave generously of his life and substance for the relief of the poor and spread of the gospel through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Whenever your love pours out from your heart, God of love, may, may your eyes be blessed. blessed. Wherever your hands are seen in ours, servant God, may lives be blessed.
Wherever your peace is sown like seeds, God of peace, may, may lives be blessed. blessed. Wherever your grace sets prisoners free, God of grace, may, may lives be blessed. blessed. Wherever your joy shines out in praise, God of joy, may, may lives be blessed. blessed. Amen. May God's love be the love that surrounds us today. May God's peace be the peace that we share on our way. May God's grace be the grace that our actions display. May God's truth be the truth in the words that we say. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. May Christ dwell in our hearts by faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you.